Theresa Griffin, Labour MEP for the North West, to what extent are places like uh, Merseyside now missing out on European funding because of the way uh, the money is being allocated? Merseyside can lose out because of this allocation of £100 million worth investment. When you think that Merseyside was actually transformed when I was a councillor in Liverpool by money from the European Union in the first instance, it then was European Capital of Culture, which then again transformed Liverpool and Greater Merseyside. The fact that we have been denied £100 million by the allocation by this condemned government to Merseyside is an outrage and a disgrace. I mean, you mentioned the fact that Liverpool Merseyside has already had a lot of money in the past. Is it the fact that the work's been done and you actually don't need quite so much money anymore? An awful lot of excellent work has been done, led by Labour leaders in Merseyside and Joe Anderson. However, we were a transition region, which meant that the European Union recognised the transformation that has taken place, but that more help was needed. They therefore allocated us £100 million, and we had one judge say in this ruling that it was wholly inappropriate what has happened to Merseyside, that this government has denied £100 million pounds worth of investment. Nonetheless, overall, the uh, UK Supreme Court did rule in the government's favour. They didn't see Merseyside's case. Um, you've lost on this one. But, but the ruling was, was was three to four. You know, three out of the seven judges actually agreed with us. And one of them actually said that the original allocation that the government had made against the EU's wishes was wholly inappropriate. So, you know, that was the judge. And one of the judges actually seemed to change his mind at the last time. That's how close we were. So I think we've got to continue this fight. I mean, let's be clear how important do you see this money as being for the area, for the region? What's the impact of not getting the, this millions or not getting nearly as much as, as, as you thought you would do? The impact on our region is on jobs and growth. The impact on our region is about quality training for our young people to enable them to get quality jobs in the future. European Union money has been absolutely pivotal in terms of these agendas and in terms of the regeneration of our cities and, for instance, the port of Liverpool. Is there a principle at stake here on kind of the equal spread of, of funding? Yeah, ab ab absolutely there's a principle here because money should be allocated to local authorities based on the economic and social needs of local communities. What this government has done consistently to local authorities right across my region from Barrow to Manchester to Liverpool is actually give funding based on political decisions, not based on the needs of local communities. It's happening at a national UK level with this condemned government. It's now happened with European funding. Europe decides Merseyside did needed a hundred million pounds in this tranche of regeneration. This government denied that funding to Merseyside. That can't be right on any level. You mentioned this money is used, for example, for job schemes. It's also, I think, for infrastructure yes. problem, uh, projects, a whole range of, of things. Um, do you see now, are you now expecting concrete problems to occur because this money isn't coming to Merseyside. In other words, will we see an impact on jobs? Will we see an impact on, on a lack of new infrastructure in Merseyside? What we'll see an impact on is potential that can't be realised now that we've had this funding. I have absolute confidence in the Merseyside local authorities that they will work incredibly hard to make sure that they work together to try and bridge this gap. But we can't deny that opportunities are being lost, opportunities that actually should be given to the people of Merseyside. It's scandalous. And just briefly, finally, is this the end of the road? It was a Supreme Court case. It's been you know, something that's been under discussion for a very long time, both here in Brussels and back in the constituency and on the legal path. Is this the end of the road? The last hope was this judgment? I mean, obviously, uh, when the court judgment was handed down this morning, the first thing that we did was actually get on the phone to uh, Labour leaders uh, in Merseyside to talk about what happens next. And what we're hoping 
is that if the legal um, judgment, if that has been handed down post May, we can hope for a Labour government to actually review future funding to make sure that allocations are fair.